Um, you okay, either choose okay, to said... move or yeah. get buff. Worth it. Oh, yeah, any of you guys want to play Warframe later on tonight? Uh, uh, I, I would normally, but... This yeah, is your game time. Work and... Yeah, that's yeah, rough. pretty much. Uh, yeah, so Atlas, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, the best you're able to do is um, get a couple of rations. Have you used any rations out of the stuff that you got? With to begin with? No, you got five uses. Um, oh no, three uses. There you go. So the best you're able to do is get another two rations. Like that's off of some dirty uh -uh. side alley. Like yeah, just not being able to speak the language means that you. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, you want to buy some rations? Stupid Google links. Far out. Yeah. With an ads. Um Yeah, so that's yeah, that's the best you're able to do in order for like for equipment and stuff. Bit of a bummer really. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty accurate accurate video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the Russian please? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy's eyes, he's just like, what in the hell? I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. pretty much. Anyway. Yeah. That's Alice asking for food. Very nice. Um, yeah, so is there anything else you guys are doing in preparation, or are you heading out? Uh, no, I think that's it. I, I wouldn't be keen to go, try and buy anything else after that. Fair enough. But right the, the point thing is just like, <laughs> imagine just like that video, but like a big guy in like full, like, <laughs> male armor. Yeah. <laughs> just like, please give me some food! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... You guys are also undertaking a perilous journey. Uh, two days. Um, here, I'll bring up the basic move. You only have two people. That's right. So you gotta you gotta pick which one you wanna you wanna do. Do good. Um. Tell you what, they'll make sure that the one you don't pick goes normal rather than fail. Okay. So, you can choose from Quartermaster to reduce the number of rations, um, or Trailblazer to, to reduce the amount of time, or Scout to spot any trouble early enough to let you get the drop. So choose one for each of you. The stat is uh, Wisdom. Uh, well, after after what just happened, I'm going to go Quartermaster to make sure the, the rations are going to last <laughs> long enough. Okay. Trailblazer. You can you can do it faster or slower depending on how well you roll. Okay. Sure. So wisdom rolls from both of you, please. Oh, man. What? <laughs> You guys suck! Except for me. <laughs> just, uh, any so, time to do with food. I just, I just can't. <laughs> Have you seen a food, please? <laughs> <laughs> I just sort of like, just doze off, wake up, it's just sort of like, I'm just stopping myself with food, and just like, ah! <laughs> 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 So, on a fail, uh, 
Uh, so you guys are going to get some trouble, and it's going to hit you hard and fast. Ooh. And um, by the way, both of you take an experience, mark an experience. Um, and so wait, it's didn't... two days, but you need to consume three rations, please. Okay. Be fast. Yeah. <sighs> so now we're we're caught up to the right time. So we're, we're now in equal time. Um, you guys have come up to a spot on sort of on the edge of the forest where you had agreed to meet Romerick. Um, and um, yeah, we um, we see you guys sort of starting to set up camp. You know. You've, eating the last of your rations or, or you know not not the last of your rations but the, the like the last of the three yes th yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah you guys are sort of getting just sort of set up so that you've got somewhere to wait and, and whatever um one of the uh, um if on guard and says to the rest of you to get your rest and he'll change out with one of the other guys soon um, like they're, they're kind of doing that for you guys. They're kind of, um, like last night when you were, um, setting up camp, they, um, they took the watches and made sure that you guys got, you've got your full sleep, um, which is sort of nice, but they're probably, they've probably been told to do that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this guy stands up, um, and all of a sudden you guys hear a loud, uh, roar, the roar of a bear maybe. Um, as it comes flying out of the forest, um, and sort of tackles this guard militia dude, um, like hits him like a truck, honestly, and throws him a good 20 feet across the field. And, um, yeah, you, you hear a sickening crunch, like you're sure his, his back must have snapped or something, but he slides to the ground and doesn't get back up. And then the bear turns towards the, the group of, I guess, how many of there are you? Five plus two is seven. The seven of you and roars very loud, um, giving you guys enough time to grab your weapons, and he faces you off. What do you do? Well, I guess I'd, um, I just run to the front. You run to the front, okay. And Shana? Yeah, um, I'm not. Um, okay. Are you attacking first, or are you waiting for it to make a move, or what's the go? I would, I would be like, I swear I will defeat you. Oh, yeah, you... Cool. Um, do you have to roll for the the marking? Uh, I don't think so. Doesn't say on the thing. Okay. Um, what does Metal Helen do, Shana? Okay, so, um, Mason, you hear the bear's, um, first, um, two roars, and, um, then Shana's subsequent metal hurlant shout, um, which sort of echoes across the valley, um, in the area that you're in, but, um, yeah, you hear it sort of afar off, and I'm assuming you start running in that direction. Oh, yeah, I'm charging right at the bear. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, roll your metal hurling. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> um, on a 10+, plus, the target takes 1d10 damage and is deafened for a few minutes. So roll your damage. Bam. I'm assuming since it's a shout, it can't be reduced by armor. Probably not. Probably not. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, yeah, um... Bear sort of reels back from that um, and sort of looks around a little bit confused and turns back towards you and roars and then um, charges in, um, ready to hit you in the same fashion as the other guy. Uh, what do you do? Um, I'll step in front and sort of put my shield up. Cool. So can you defy danger with your constitution, please, Atlas? 
Yes. And before one. Six plus two. I get, I get extra armor. Yes, you do. Oh yeah, that works. Nice. Oh hell yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so you just get this look of like, um, divine resolution in your face. You step in front of Shana with the shield outstretched, and um. The bear locks eyes with you and takes a massive swing at your shield and stops dead. Like you, you feel the shock of it and you slide, you know, um, about a foot <laughs> along the ground as it takes the strike, as your shields take the strike. But you, yeah, you hold your ground and you block the block the hit and it leaves, um, leaves the bear open for um, somebody to take advantage of that. Yeah. Sure. How far um, am I away from this, by the way? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know when you when you Kay. get in there. Like, you're running as fast as, yeah, and yeah. Hard as you can. As like, a lumbering a bear. Fair way away. Row, 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 row. Which one's these uh, engineering and which one's the programming? They're all for engineering. All for engineering, okay. I mean, that's programming, but, um... It's still... <laughs> nice. Can I just pass it again? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, you got a 12 plus. Yeah, you can take something from the bear. Take his dignity. <laughs> <laughs> You've already taken his hearing. <laughs> Neuter the bear. Too? Um, Roll your damage and I'll tell you. Um, yeah. Okay, nine damage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that you, you, yeah, you sever one of its legs. Oh. Uh, just lop it off. The bear roars again, uh, after, you know, slamming his fist into a metal shield, and then getting his leg cut off. He just roars at the top of its lungs and drops onto its back. Um, like, and flailing, it's sort of like, crawl attacking towards you guys, um... <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Can I, can I attack it? Yeah, but, um, Romerick, you, you come into the clearing, uh, on the edge of the forest, just, uh, as you find this scene, it's the, um, Shana and, um... <laughs> Atlas facing off against this bear that's sort of crawling towards them. Yeah, um, I'm I'm still charging at this bear. Like I'm just going for it. Straight cool. Out. I'll give you the first attack. First attack before Atlas. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna. What do you call it? Uh, rugby tackle it as a bear. I'm like I'm just going in with vengeful hate. Just, like, I'm, wanna, you, I'm ready to rip this guy's head off. <laughs> are you gonna deal your damage or are you gonna um, pin it? Uh. Yeah. It's well, gonna be I mean, I damage. guess you can spend two holding you both. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll do both. This um, bear's not have a good day. Because it's like, Romerick's really ticked off on it. He's like, I'm gonna just rip this guy to shreds. Yeah, sure. So roll your damage. So what's he taking so far? Five plus... Uh, Does strength give anything nine? extra? Uh, not for damage, no. Oh, so this is just the normal ability damage? Uh, yeah, D6 I think yours is. Uh. Two. Uh... So it's taken five and nine, which is fourteen plus two is sixteen. Um, yeah, you kill it. Oh. So okay. yeah, you charge. You charge in from the side. Um, yeah, and like you sort of Superman dive onto it with your um, paws outstretched, um, like grab it around the neck and roll. Sort of down, slowly down the hill. Well, not slowly, I guess you're coming at full pace. Um, so it's probably pretty quick. But, um, yeah, you get your claws around its neck. And as it, as you guys roll down the hill together, you manage to, like, tear a big gash in its neck. And by the time you stop, um, you rise up covered in blood. From I give out a massive victory roar. And my companion jumps on my shoulder and does a howl as well. Hell yeah. Um, the, the militia dudes... Um, 
have drawn their weapons. Well, they already had their weapons drawn for the bear, but they're um, charging you. I don't know if they're charging, but they're sort of tentatively moving towards you to get ready to fight you. Yeah, I just sort of go down calmly and transform back. Yeah, cool. Um, when you do, they um, are like shocked and awed and like they've never seen that before and they take a couple of steps back and put their weapons away. Um, yeah, Roman just sort of gives them a bit of a bow. Like that was probably the same thing. He's like, what the heck? Because <laughs> <laughs> you've never seen this transform before, have you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but to me, it was just like random bear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, bear. <laughs> just bear with it, Jason. <laughs> Man, that was that was supposed to be a harder fight than it was. <laughs> Look for the epic block. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh. Yeah, cool. Um, one of the, well, I guess probably a few of them, two maybe, of the militia dudes have gone over to check the body of the of the dude who got killed. Um, Remember it goes with them to yeah, see what happened. Cool. And... Um, you look, look him over and his, um, his neck is like half severed. Um, sort of like nearly headless neck sort of thing. Um, yeah, and he's just in a pool of blood and very dead on the floor. Rory does the same thing he did when he was at the um at the thing his family was. What was that again? Rory does the same sort of thing they did where um he went to where his family was. Like the other, what do you call it? Oh yep. Like he's just sort of mourning and Yeah. Yep. See for a second there, I thought you meant you'd do the same thing as a dead guy. Just like <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, it's sort of nearing the end of the day. Um, can I give you? A... So, Romerick, how do you 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 quickly realise that this is the bear that you're looking for? Yeah. Um, uh, do you investigate it at all, or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I bring my companion with me and. I don't know how we're going to find out where the family is from that, but we sort well, of, I guess. Um, give me a, give me a, um, another Discern Realities. Is that wisdom? Yeah, it is. Nice. So, three questions from the list. Um. Okay. Um. Realities? Same realities, yeah. there you go. Um, what here is useful or valuable to me? Um, in its in its stomach is a chunk of rock, um, which you believe to be from your rock golem type, um, I guess, father? Okay. Try and keep this as no, not messed up, but Ramrix he picks this up and he sort of does that thing again where um, he mourns the loss. Yep. And do I have any like magic abilities or anything? No. I guess he's I got a spear or something, don't I? You have yes, a spear. Alright. Does Shana leave the head there, or has she still got it? Ramrick walks up to the head, and he stabs it with a spear. Yep. And then lifts it up, and lets out this massive, you know, sorrowful cry of rage. Yep. And he just sort of just drops the spear, and he just sits there. Just sort of just, you know, just really... Feels destroyed at the moment. Um, 
and that's what Romer is doing at the moment, but I'm going to ask the other questions. Uh, I'll just, uh, what is about to happen? What is about to happen? So I'll change this slightly to what what would have happened. Okay. Um. Um. The rock, like the the sort of the flesh of the of the rock golem, would never have digested. Never ever. It would have remained in the bear's stomach forever. Uh, let's see. What here's actually no what mm. What here is not what it appears to be. Perhaps the conclusion you've drawn from what you found. So maybe the golems turned into the bear? So I just have to guess that, don't I? Yeah. Well, I guess Romeric goes to that conclusion and is he's even more messed up like he's really torn that this happened to his family and he's just curled up into a fetal position with his companion doing the same next to him they're just holding each other crying silently man i'm even in tears just think saying that <laughs> far out <laughs> Yeah, yeah, roughly, probably two of them do. Yeah, yep. Okay, Romerick, do you have any response to this? Romerick politely asks him not to, out of respect for his family. But he respects if they need to, and we just wander off in the distance. Wait, wait. Your family is the bear. That was his very. He, do he doesn't give. Like, he doesn't give the information. That's just all he says. Okay. Remix thankful and gives a sort of a slight smile that dies quickly. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to set up camp. Um, yeah, I mean, right here. It does have a sheep in it. <laughs> I've had a sheep first, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I was searching for the basic move and I started typing sheep. <laughs> <laughs> um, on one side, you, you know, um, you know the scene in all of the rings where um, the Urukai have got um, the two hobbits and they camp along the edge of Fanghorn Forest. Keep that image in your mind, like you guys are on the on the edge of this great forest. Um, so yeah, when you settle in to rest, consume a ration, uh, you don't need to do that because we've included your rations in the, um, in the perilous journey. Um, if you're somewhere dangerous, decide the watch order, um, and if you have an e enough XP, you may level up. Um, when you wake from at least a few uninterrupted hours of sleep, heal half your damage, half of your max HP, I mean. Um, so I guess... 
Romerick, you can level up. Cool. Um, and anybody else who's got enough XP? Um, uh, where's the thing I can find? Is it in the basic move sheet where I find the stuff I level up, or...? No. Um, no, you just um, either choose a new move or bump up your stats by one, one of your stats by one. Bump up one of my stats. Um, and also increase your level and drop your XP by the yep. number. Yeah. So yeah, I think you're on one out of six yep. now. Cool. All right. Um, so the militia dudes are insisting that they take the watch um, and you guys can rest. Um, there's only five of them now. Um, Baron somebody... says he'll help with the watch because he can't really sleep at the moment. Yeah, no, they insist that they're going to do the watch. Um, and one of them says something along the lines of, like, you're you're too distraught to, to rely on. Like, he doesn't say it, like, food yeah, or yeah. whatever, but... Yeah, so, I mean, he stay up or sleep and, or whatever, yeah. but they're going to do the watch. Yeah. Um, Alright, so somebody roll... Um, I guess their loyalty? Um, so that's 2d6 plus uh, 2 is their loyalty. I'm gonna not do that <laughs> with my rolls lately. Um, 2d6 plus 2. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Okay, so, um, Romerick, where are you? I am, are you, are you, you're staying awake? Yeah, he's sort of just sitting near the campfire, just staring in there. That's it. Okay. So, the guy that's currently on watch, um, he's sitting sort of a little bit away from you, um, sitting up against a tree along the edge of the forest, and, um, you suddenly hear him mutter something. Um, under his breath, and then a little bit late, uh, like sort of ten seconds later, he says, "No, no, not me, not me." Do you do anything? Yeah, Ramy just um sort of asks, "What's up?" I hear them, their voices in my head. Ramy hesitate, like He's hesitantly, moves up to him and tells him to come close to the fire. Okay. Um. Yeah. So he 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 stands up and sort of walks um by the fire. He's like sort of pacing around in circles around the fire and just continually looking out into the into the darkness. Um. But he's kind of holding his head, um, and sort of like sort of hitting his head a little bit, like lightly trying to knock it out or something like trying to, you know, you know that thing when people are super uber stressed. Yeah. Um, so they're going come, crazy. Yeah, Rubric tells him to look at him, and he sort of puts it on his his hand on his shoulder uh, reassuringly, and tells him of the experience of when he had to face the shadows. Yep. And tells him the best way to fight them is to stay near the fire and just ignore them because they are scared of fire. Okay. Alright, um, yeah, he locks eyes with you, and he makes sure that he's near the fire, and every now and then you can see him, like, jam shut his eyes when he, when, you know, you can see that he's hearing things in his head, and, um, and at a certain point, he tries to pull away from you and, and walk away from the fire. Um, Bremer goes to grab him and ask him what he's doing. He says, um... They're calling. They're calling. Let go of me. I need to go to them. Ramrick like gives this really discerning look and tells him that's what they want you to do, but that's not the best thing to do. Yeah. To trap. He he goes right, 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 and then he 
he sort of closes his eyes and, and sort of, you see him relax a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. You when he him. starts to relax, um, Roderick tries to calm down the situation, but sort of reminiscing a little bit, he sings an old family song. Okay. Beautiful. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. The vocal song he just made up with his family. Yep. Cool. All right. Um, he he looks at you and says they they're gone. Bermuda just smiles and says, "I'm glad, my friend." I need some sleep. Where's 